Okay, we're going to learn how to use the FOIL method and hopefully I'm going to keep this video around seven minutes. Uh, so I'll apologize in advance if it goes a little bit beyond seven minutes, but if you stick with me here, you're definitely going to learn the FOIL method, which is extremely important in algebra. So a little bit about me, if you're just uh, coming across my YouTube channel for the first time or this video, I'm a math teacher, I teach middle and high school math and beyond. So uh, if you'd like, we found out you like my teaching style, uh, hopefully you'll check out more of my videos on my YouTube channel. I also got a complete full mastery uh, math learning system. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if that's something that uh, you think you might be interested in. So with this being said, let's get to these two problems. Okay, so if you understand these two problems here, uh, of course I'm going to solve them or go, go through these uh, guys, uh, then you should be in good shape with the FOIL method. But before we get going, we need to know what is the FOIL method and you know why do we need to know it. So this is really a big part of algebra. And in algebra, we have these things called polynomials. So this is a polynomial and this is a polynomial. Now, these two polynomials here, we happen to be multiplying. But we could take these polynomials, we can add them, we can subtract them, and we can multiply them. Then there is something we can do later on called dividing polynomials. But that's a little bit different. But essentially what we can do is we could, when we have two different polynomials, we can do various operations with them. In this um, uh, situation here, we're going to be multiplying polynomials. So FOIL has to do with multiplication of polynomials, but not any kind of polynomial, okay? Specifically, what we call binomials. Binomials, hopefully I spelled that right. And a binomial is a polynomial that has two terms. So we have something here plus something here, or something here plus something here. You could have something subtracted from something. So for example, you could have a minus b, x plus y, uh, 3g plus z, all of these guys here, we could put uh, parentheses around them, are binomials. So if we take one binomial, we multiply by another uh, binomial, the FOIL method is a specific procedure we follow to multiply two uh, binomials. Now, when you're studying algebra, you need to understand how to multiply polynomials in general. So you could have things like this, 2x, uh, times 3x squared minus x plus 1. Now this scenario, this is a, what we call a monomial because it only has one term and we're multiplying it by a trinomial. So in this scenario, scenario, we would not use the FOIL method. Okay, Remember the FOIL method only applies to a binomial times a binomial. So here you would use the distributor property and then if I had a binomial times a trinomial, there's other uh, methods um, that you need to learn. But the FOIL method is a very popular method, um, and uh, with that being said, now that we know what it is, let's define this little acronym, FOIL. This really should be F-O-I-L. So the F is first, the O is outer, the I is inner, and the L is last. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate this problem because, again, my objective is to teach you this stuff in a pretty short period of time, hopefully around seven minutes. but you know, the video is no good if you don't learn anything from this, right? So the FOIL method, this is the procedure. We're going to do the first, then we're going to do the outers, and then we're going to do the inners, and then we're going to do the last. So what is the first? The first is these two guys, okay? So if you look at each binomials, the first term in each of these binomials are these, okay? So this is the first. So we're going to multiply the first. So it's just this times this. 2x times x is 2x squared. Now, hopefully, again, if you didn't understand this, then you've got to do some, uh, you know, additional review. But if you're with me so far, excellent. Now we're going to do the outer, okay? The outer. So we did the first. Let me go back and just kind of keep this here. So we did the first. Now we're on to the outers. So the outers are these guys. The outers happens to be, so let's erase these, okay? These guys here. These are the outers. So 2x times 1. 2x times 1 is simply just 2x. Okay, so if you're with me, you're like, okay, get this. So now we're just moving on to the next one. And the next one is the inners. So what are the inners? These two guys here are the inners, right? So this is the inners. These are the outers. These are the first. Okay, so we did the first. 
outer, and now this is the inner. So 3 times x is just simply 3x. And now notice I'm just putting an addition sign because we're going to, every time we do a little first outer inner, we just take that term and then we're going to add it to the next thing on a checklist. So the next thing on a checklist is the last. Okay. So if you look here, if you're kind of confused, we, we say we multiply this times this, this times this, this times this. Now the last would be the last of each binomial. So that's 3 times 1. So this is the last. Okay. And 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, so now all we have to do is combine like terms. So I have 2x, or 2x squared, excuse me, and I have 2x plus 3x, which is what? 5x plus 5x, and then I just have this little 3 remaining, plus 3. So this is the product of multiplying these two guys together, okay? So we had a binomial times a binomial. Our brain said, oh, I need to use the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. Just do this little procedure. Add everything uh, up at the end, and you're done. Okay, so if you understand that, why don't you go ahead and see if you can apply your new knowledge on this problem. Now, this problem, I have some uh, uh, subtraction, some differences going on, so you got to be careful here. But if you want to pause the video and give it a, a whirl, um, before I do it, yeah, I think that's a good little pop quiz for yourself. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So if you, do want to, if you don't want to see the solution, you might want to pause the video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now so we can get this video done in a decent period of time. Okay, so I'm going to do the first. All right, so the first. Let's just do it this way. So this is going to be first, outer, inner, and then the last, right? Okay, so now I'm concentrating on the first. So that's 3x times 2x, so that's 6x squared. Now the adder is going to be 3x times, now this is where students um, make an error. They go, oh, that's just 3x times 5. So if you said that's just 15x, you were close, okay? But you're not quite right. Well, you have to include the sign. So this is really a negative 5. So if you want to, you could think of this problem we have 3x minus 4. You could think of, think of this uh, problem this way, 3x plus a negative 4, if that helps you see that, okay? So this is really 2x plus a negative 5. So you have to include this negative sign. So this is going to be plus 3x times a negative 5, so that's negative 15x, okay? So with that being said, let's continue on with the inner. So this is like plus negative 4, right? So we have to use this negative 4 to multiply by this 2x here, so that's going to be plus negative 8x. All right, then we'll finish up with the last. So that's a negative 4 times the negative 5, which is going to be positive 20. So the the negative signs really, you know, plenty of students, you know, mess up. They understand the general concept, but when they, you got some positive negative numbers going on, they'll make a lot of errors. And I know that from uh, many, many years of grading thousands and thousands and thousands of papers. So with that, with that being said, you get a lot of experience as a, as a teacher. And you know what? I'm sure way back many, many, many years ago when I was in school, I was making the same mistakes. But let, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So this would be 6x squared, and then we have 15, and 8 is what? Uh, 23, if I didn't make any mistakes, right? So this would be plus negative 23x plus 20 and then I'll be done and you always want to write your answers in standard form highest power of x that'd be x squared and then your middle power and then lastly your number okay so I have no idea how much time I've been on this video because uh, when I when I get going I teach to what I think is uh, sufficient hopefully this was a good little um, kind of a power lesson for you and you're like okay you know I got this now of course um, what counts is practicing this all right, you might understand these two problems in a moment, but now you actually go, you have to go and actually practice this. But if you like my um, style of teaching, you think you can understand from me, I definitely encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos that can definitely help you out in math. Again, if you want to see my best work, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, full math learning program in the description of this video so you can check that out. If you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. What course are you in? Are you in pre-algebra, algebra one? That's typically where the FOIL method is kind of introduced, but you'll see it again in, in um, uh, maybe in algebra two 
Uh, but by that time, they pretty much expect you to know this stuff. But you might be a college student. You might be taking like a math 101 or general math, that type of thing. So there's lots of different type of math courses you can be in other than, say, Algebra 1 or Pre-Algebra, where you'll be le learning the FOIL method, okay? Because you could be taking a, a math class that is, you know, teaching you some algebra. Okay, But you might be in another class, like statistics, where you just need to do a quick review on this stuff. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you for your time and have a great day.